be real with y'all. Be a real myself, man. I ain't never planning on really making no video for real about this, man. Honestly, I've been more to myself, fam. But let me tell you, let me give y'all background. The reason why I went ahead and, pur and purchased my first crystals. And I'm going to show you what, what it look like. And I'm going to show you and tell you everything it means. I ain't going to lie to y'all before we get into this. All crystals, real life, me around the same thing. Unless you get a Pacific crystal. It's just for something in particular. So the ones I got is all represents the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It rebukes negative energy. Um, people say on that, on the little, on the little websites, they track wealth because they you know they want people to buy it because you know they think it's gonna track wealth. Well, high energy does attract wealth, so they wasn't lying basically. Um, positive energy cleans the energy. It does all that, bro. It um relieves stress, rebukes demons, all that shit. And this is the reason why I had to get my first crystals, right? And this is like a two set. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't get this. I ain't get this separately. I got this together. The reason why I had to buy my first set of crystals, bro, because when you get higher spiritually, man, when you get higher, when you get higher spiritually, man, the harder the demons try to come after you, bro. And that's what's been happening with me recently, man. And then I said one day, I woke up one day, I was like, man, I got to get crystals, man. Protect me, fam. So I had got this beautiful muff right here. So this is like stationary, right? You could you could choose to to take this everywhere you go if you want to, but this is gonna be stationary for me. It's gonna be right here on my desk. I'm gonna put it somewhere. I don't want nobody touching it, man. Cause like somebody touching your crystals is like bad luck to me. I feel like somebody touching your crystals is like somebody putting on your underwear. You know what I'm saying? Like why the hell you got on my underwear? Like so yeah, I don't want nobody really touching my crystals. So I'm gonna put this up. With no, I'm not saying when they can't see it, but I don't want nobody touching my stuff. You feel me? So, yeah, man, let me give y'all a little background story. Y'all know what all the crystals mean and all that. If you don't, man, it promotes positive energy, uh, stress relief, rebukes negativity, you know what I'm saying, cleanse the soul, your body, all that, man. For meditation, you can wear it when you exercise. It's going to help you calm down. It's going to help you focus more, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't believe in crystals, man, um then you just not as deep into spirituality yet because me, I was looking at crystals just like how everybody else is looking at crystals. Like crystals are just crystals, bro. But you gotta realize, man, we all need protection, man. You don't wanna keep going in a full blown war every time you're around a group of negative people, a group of negative family. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna need somebody that's automatically on your side already and gold and gold rebukes the devil, man. Like Gold fights the devil too, man. Like, why you think a lot of high vibrational people has a lot of gold on them? And I don't think they even know that. But my conclusion is what I told myself is, man, gold, gold uh, fights the devil, man. So somebody wear a lot of gold and I talk to the chin that they're a very positive person, a very t stay to yourself ass person. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not on, I'm not on here to tell y'all what to do, how to think, anything like that. I'm just telling y'all my story. So basically, man, I just got into it. Chick I used to talk to, man. Got off of work. You know, I was just like, oh, call me. I didn't look. I didn't know she was on the phone with her friends or whatever. She had a phone with her friends. I was like, all right, cool. I'm just going to go to sleep. I ain't really tripping. Right? So boom, boom, boom. Time goes by. I hop out the shower. I got a big paragraph, man. Just yapping, yapping nonsense. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this? So I went, to, I went to sleep with it lingering on my mind. I wasn't mad. I wasn't mad. I went to sleep lingering on my mind. I'm like, I turned my phone off. I'm like, man, F that. You know what I'm saying? That Pacific night, I went to sleep. I got attacked by a demon of that person's energy. So basically, that person's energy shifted to a, a shape shifted to a demon in my dream, and it was with one other person I grew up with in middle school, high school. So chick, 
We both got attacked by the demon, but you know what I'm saying? We was both fighting the demon and we overcame adversity. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, that's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man. And basically, this is like people like, man, everybody fight demons every day. This just wasn't no regular demon, bro. This is a this is a demon that's built with built in with hatred, animosity, planned. Like this shit was like it felt like it was planned, bro. It was like he tried to get me. Wrong timing for me, but right time for them. I said I need to start protecting my energy, bro. The day after, I said fuck it. I'm getting my crystals, bro. This is my protection right here, bro. This would be positive. This is protecting me. I go in the store around a whole bunch of weird people. Anywhere I go, fam. Anywhere I go, where I go. I go to work, protecting me. I go to the gym, protecting me. I go on the nature walk, protecting me. This is not leaving my neck, bro. This is not even when, even when I'm in the shower. I don't care about this thing getting wet. It's not leaving my neck, bro, because you got to realize I'm getting higher and higher, bro. When you get higher and higher, fam, there's certain things you can't do no more, bro. Because if you don't want to turn around, bro, stop. Stop believing that you're human anymore, bro. Stop believing that you're regular, bro. You just got to accept it, bro. You're not regular, bro. No matter how much you, you think, you just like, I wish I didn't know none of this shit I know. God showed you for a reason, fam. And you would never grow. You would never, you would never become who you truly want to become as soon as you accept that, bro. It's a reason why God showed you all the information, all the shit going on, bro. He handpicked you at birth, bro. You was never going to have new flash, news flash. You were never, you were never going to have a regular life, bro. Because even if you did have a regular life in the Norio, your chosen one powers from the beginning, my nigga, you going to feel so fucking lost. You going to feel so fucking out of place. Like, why is we doing this every day? Why is we going to work every day? Why is we working 10 hour shifts every day? Why am I not spending enough time in nature? You going to be asking yourself all these questions. How come I'm not taking care of myself? How do I don't feel good about myself? How I don't feel right about this shit? You're going to be asking yourself so many questions, bro. Is this the food we really supposed to be eating? Why every time I eat this fucking meat make me feel sluggish? You're going to be asking yourself everything. I love y'all, man. I'm Davian No More, man. I'm out. I know I don't post on this channel much, man. It's because, man, I don't like all these fake ass niggas, bro. All these people that have no real content from the heart, man. I'm not picking on nobody particular or I'm not talking about anybody particular. I just feel like some people just doing this for the money and not being genuine with it. And don't get me wrong. Everybody has to get paid. Everybody has to everybody has to eat 100% with that, bro. But I'm just saying, if you're going to do spirituality shit, you're going to do uplifting, self-development shit, bro. Really do this shit, bro. And be honest with you, you is growing every day, bro, but it's not no shit. I'm not coming on here with Bible verses, bro. I'm not, bro. I'm coming over here with purely information from me. I told myself, bro, everything I learned outside of myself, you could go find that your fucking self, my nigga. You have to believe in yourself. You have to, any day, you have to put in the grind for yourself, G, like I did. Like I did and hell of other people did. I'm coming on here to tell you information from myself, bro. And then I want to tell y'all my story. I was waiting. I was waiting for this video to get my crystals, bro. Cause if I didn't have my crystals, this video wouldn't be as ten times serious, bro. Protect your energy, bro. These these females is not all it. It's not all your life, G. All these friends, they're not all your life, fam. These families, this this fake ass family around you, it's not your life. I'm not talking about your real family. I'm not talking about your intermittent family. I'm not talking about the family that really fuck with you. I'm talking about the niggas that's only coming around when you got something. Oh shit, they heard you just got paid. You took everybody out to dinner and where they at? They pulling up, nigga. They sitting right in a the seat. They wanna they wanna come eat when 
when it's beneficial for them. But they don't want to come eat, nigga, when it's just when it's just when it's just frozen peas. They don't want to come eat then. They ain't sitting at that table where they at. They gone, nigga. They out of there. When it's just frozen peas, they gone. Stay safe, man. I love y'all.